it's really relevant to look at the pollutants in the oceans. First of all, because we don't really know and we don't see them, so they're invisible. But each of us and also the products we use, everything leaves, leaves traces. So we have a chemical footprint that we leave on Earth and it all gets washed into the ocean. And the plan of this mission is to actually understand what's the impact and how much and which kind of pollutions can we find in the ocean. The protocols that we have on board, um, we want to look for pollutants and we have a large amount of pollutants, like around 500, and we can group them like largely into three groups. Individual pollution, so personal pollution, in terms of what we as humans, um, our anthropogenic influence, so shampoo, sunscreen, uh, food and, and these things. Then we have a large impact of pollutants from the industry. Could be, for example, uh, pesticides. And the third category, we can maybe phrase it as uh, pharmaceutical pollution. So things that are in the clinic and that end up in the, in the ocean. For example, antibiotics or drugs. Let's, let's maybe take the example of pharmaceuticals. So we take them, um, they hopefully have a, a beneficial effect for whatever we want to treat, but our body wants to get rid of, of pharmaceuticals as well. So they're highly potent, they interact with biology, we get rid of them, they get into the toilet, they get into wastewater, and that's their way into, into the environment. And although some of them will be degraded already in wastewater treatment plants, many of them will actually find their way in, um, in freshwater streams and eventually into the oceans. The protocol that we do on board is that we take water um, from the sea, we actually filter them. So first we remove all of the particles, then we remove the organisms step by step, first the larger ones, then the smaller ones, and then we are left with the pollutants that we try to bind, um, to store and then to ship to the lab to analyze.